In this lesson, we'll review how battery energy storage systems coupled with solar PV can provide backup power to a home. First, let's look at a home without solar PV or battery storage. All the energy used by the home is supplied by the electric utility. If a home has solar PV installed, at times a portion of the home's energy needs are supplied by this system. If the solar PV system's power output ever exceeds the power use of the home, then the excess energy will flow to the utility grid. Homeowners with a net energy metering agreement with their utility will get credit for this energy. During grid outages, solar inverters without energy storage are designed to automatically shut off. This is called anti-islanding, and the purpose is to prevent solar systems from energizing the grid when it's being repaired and potentially shocking workers. Homeowners often believe that their solar PV system will provide backup power even without a battery and they are always disappointed to find out that this is not the case. Now we introduce an N-phase storage system with N-charge batteries and the N-power smart switch. This diagram depicts a whole home backup scenario. When the PV system is operating, the power will go to the home's electrical loads, charge the battery, and excess will flow back to the utility grid. In the event of a power outage, the N-power smart switch will quickly disconnect from the grid. With the storage system disconnected from the grid, a microgrid is instantly formed by the end charge units. The end phase inverters on the solar panels see the microgrid as if it's the utility grid, and they continue to function normally. The excess power from the PV system continues to charge the battery. If the PV system can no longer supply enough power for the home, then the home will draw power from the battery. The next day when the sun rises, the PV system will begin producing power again and will recharge the battery. The microgrid can operate indefinitely if the PV system is able to generate enough energy every day to power the home around the clock. This is how an N-phase storage system can power a home during a grid outage for many days. A common alternative configuration to a whole home backup is a partial home backup. It often is the case that an energy storage system which is sized to meet all of the power requirements of a home will be relatively large, and the price may be shockingly high. With a partial home backup configuration, only specific electrical circuits in the home, which are considered essential, will be powered by the storage system during an outage. The goal of a partial home backup is to ensure that the essential needs of the home are met during a grid outage, while minimizing the size and cost of the energy storage system. Essential needs typically include the refrigerator, lighting, TV, computer, home network, and a few outlets to charge devices. Large electrical appliances like air conditioning, pumps, and electric water heaters are typically excluded and will remain in the non-essential loads panel. Enphase storage can also be set to operate in the smart profile called savings mode. This mode is applicable for those who are under a time of use rate schedule, where the electric utility charges or credits more for electricity during the hours of high electricity demand and charges or credits less for energy during periods of low electricity demand. Using the stored energy of the battery during the hours of high demand, also called the peak period, reduces the amount of more expensive electricity purchased from the utility, saving the homeowner money. The third smart profile is self-consumption mode. This mode maximizes the amount of solar-generated electricity used in the home. It does this by charging the batteries whenever the solar energy production exceeds consumption and discharging the batteries whenever consumption exceeds solar energy production. This mode is best when the utility provides little or no credits for PV exported energy. In those systems, the energy is more valuable when it's consumed on site. It's also best for zero export applications in which your utility does not allow the export of PV production to the grid. Self-consumption mode is used commonly in states such as Hawaii and California.